Oh, come on, you got me. Let it go. He was watching you like he was a cop. I said, take your hands off and do it now. Come on, Duke, what is this? I'm sorry, Tom. Simone's out there. Find her. You're the last person I Are you all right? To... I'm fine. I'm just a little surprised, I guess. What is she? She left. She got a cab a couple of minutes ago. I've got to go out to my wife. I don't know what's going on here, but I've got to find her. Excuse me. Dude, who is I need a minute alone with her. Let me really get out. All right, out. Everybody, out. I know I have no right, but I must ask you for secrecy. I don't know how I would begin to explain this to anybody. What exactly did you see? <laughs> Seen right out of the Godfather. No, I wouldn't say it's. I wouldn't say it's like that. What was it? I can't exactly explain everything to you, but it's not what you think, and it's certainly not as bad as you think. And I can't tell you. <sighs> Look, Duke, I don't know what it is you want me to keep quiet about. Well, let's just say I promised to do something. I'm trying to end age-old violence. I know this place, these people, their mob. When I can, I will explain everything to you, but I can't just now. Just keep your mouth shut. If you can't do it for me, do it for her. I've got to get to my wife. Tom, please. Can I count on you? Yeah, fine. Fine. I've got my own problem to deal with. Can I help you with something? Yeah, sure. Help me get my job back and tell me how to keep my wife. I don't understand what you're talking about. I've got to go. Your job's not important. But don't lose your wife. If you love her as much as I love my wife, don't let her go. I don't know what you're doing, but I know what I have to do. Smart. Duke, can we trust him? If not, I'll have him taken care of. No. No more violence, don't you understand? Julian died trying to end this sort of thing. You lost your son because of it. It's the only reason I'm here. You're truly committed to this. How can you ask a question like that? The only thing I care about, I put on the line. My wife. And our future and our family. Well, I put my coat. Get my coat for me, please. I have to get to the airport. Not yet. What do you mean? I did what I've come here to do. There's more. Fill the papers. My wife is waiting for me. If you don't mind, I'm leaving. If you do... All the good you've done today will be wiped out. These will assure otherwise. What are they? It'll be clear when you read them. Come on, man. I don't have the time for this. Neither do I. Duke, the meeting is tomorrow. If you don't read these and make some decisions, everything Julian worked for will amount to nothing. Why can't you take care of this? Look at me. In the state I'm in, am I capable of trusting my own judgment? No. I need you, Duke. I can't do this alone any longer. That's why Julian wanted you here, to help an old man. I'm not going to get home in time. Give me the telephone. You'll say, you have my undying gratitude. I said, give me the telephone. Keep an eye on her until your employer gets here. You bet. Thank you. Dukes, good evening. It's Duke here. Is my wife back there? Yeah, we were just talking about you. I'll get her. Ah, uh, let me. Mrs. Lavery. It's Mr. Lavery on the phone. Okay. Hi. Hi, where are you? I'm, I'm fine. Take it easy. Well, what happened? You know, where are you? I'm in New York. New York? I didn't know you were going to New York. Nah, it was a bit unexpected. It, it couldn't be helped. I see. Is there problems within your trust? You know, these, these things are, you know, problems. On top of problems. Nothing that I, I, I can't handle, of course. But uh, I'm sorry I can't be with you. Well, I feel badly because I couldn't get in touch with you until now. I was sure that you would... I thought you'd let me know if something was going to come up, you know. Um, well, why don't you come home? You could catch the next shuttle. 
No, uh, why don't you go home? I, I don't think I can make the next flight. I probably won't be there till either late this evening or early tomorrow. Please come now. You know, there's still some things I have to do tonight, love. You know, there's some, some people I have to see. Well, can't you just take care of it by phone tomorrow or something? No, you know what it's like. There are things to be signed. I'll get there as soon as I can, and uh, don't wait up for me. And please, don't be angry with me. Well, you know, I mean, that's a lot to ask. I know, and I don't blame you if you are, but do something else for me. I don't know that I want to. Right. What? Until I'm, until I'm there with you. Just know how much I love you. Good night. Sweet dreams. And give Robin a kiss for me, will you? She understood. I lied to her. You didn't. I heard. Maybe you bent the truth a little. Many times, I did the same thing to protect my wife. Julian's mother, God rest her soul. Again, please accept the thanks of a weary old man. Listen to me. When I thought I'd lost my wife forever, Julian helped me find her. You make no mistake, old man. That is the only reason I'm here. I'm telling you, as a father to a son, you're doing the right thing. I'm hurting my wife. I hate to do that. New York again. And tell me, how is the fearless breadwinner? He's fine. Fine. Good. He got delayed in New York. Mm -hmm. I didn't know he was in New York. Did you? I forgot. Um, it's something to do with this new club. Yeah. I didn't know he was expanding either. Oh, huh? stop me saying that. Well, I'm sorry. I mean, is everything all right? What? Well, I mean, you know, opening a new club and all, I mean, business must have picked up around here in spite of the fact that well, it looks like a crummy evening. What's that got to do with anything? Well, it takes a lot of money to start up a new club in, in the Big Apple. Oh, I don't know whether he's starting a new club or whether he's just taking over from something. It doesn't matter. He'll be home soon. Well, not often if he starts another place. Robert. Well, I'm sorry. Look, it's not a criticism. It's just an observation. I mean, he's going to be on that shuttle three or four times a week. He won't do that. He's not going to have much choice. I mean, he's got to oversee both businesses. Hmm? I don't know whether you mean to do this or not. But you certainly know how to have to go when she's done. Look, I'm just... I'm just chatting. Yeah, well, it's not like you. Well, maybe I was thinking out loud. I don't want to think anymore. I'll second that. Wait a minute. A brilliant idea. I can't stop it. It's, it's consuming me. It's going to develop into a full-grown thought. I'd be careful if I were you. Mind computes, and it's amazing. So clearly so. So blatantly obvious. What? Perfectly logical. What? You're going to like this. I mean, you in particular are really going to like this. I can't wait. You and I are here. But the people that aren't here are not here. The people that you and I are meant to meet aren't here. But you and I are here. Brilliant. Well, that's it. No, this is the brilliant part. The brilliant part is why can't you and I have a night out together? I mean, a bit more bubbly, a bit of food, a bit of laughter, but... Wait a minute, hear me out! Why should I? Because we think alike. Since when? We're very good together. Oh, that's debatable. All right. I think that you're scared to spend the evening with me. Bring on the bubbly. Wait up! 